Hello and welcome. Well, look what was on my kitchen steps when I got home today. Although the box says TV, I'm pretty sure it's not. In fact, I'm certain it is a vintage bike frame. A 1980 Bianchi Sprint, to be specific. Last fall, I rebuilt my friend's 1984 Calnago Victory racing bike. I was really smitten with that bike. I mean, it's just a fantastic machine. And I decided I wanted to build a vintage Italian bike for my very own. But wow, let me tell you, complete ones are pretty darn pricey, regardless of the brand. So, I decided to buy this frame and fork for just $195 on eBay and work on the build when and as finances permit. The frame included a fork and a seat tube. And the seat tube is fluted and painted in the Italian flags red, green, and white. That said, it looks like it was painted by hand rather than at the factory. I have decided if I'm going to clean that up a little bit or just polish it back out. There's plenty of time to decide. Now, a good way to get to know a new, or in this case, a new to me, bike is to clean it. I used simple green and a microfiber cloth. The microfiber is really good at getting into all the nooks and crannies, and there are plenty of them on an old frame. The frame was generally pretty clean, all the way from the head tube to the rear triangle and everything in between. Now there was a little grease around the bottom bracket, but that was about it for dirt. And here's a good look at the integrated cable guides on the underside of the bottom bracket shell. Kind of a nice touch. After cleaning, it was time for a closer look. I examined the frame to see if there was any signs of damage, such as dents or cracks in the paint, things like that. No problems. The Bianchi is in very good physical condition, although there are some cosmetic issues. These mostly consist of paint wear, paint chips, and some very, very minor surface rust. The chrome chainstay guard is a little loose, but otherwise there is no apparent damage to anything else. The frame is steel, but there's no decal to indicate which alloy. So I guess a bit of research is in order for me. Now the frame does have lug construction, which is nice and solid. And honestly, I think these fluted lugs are very pretty instead of just, you know, plain old square cut tubing. Up front, the fork is also in pretty good condition and there's some light paint wear on the wheel mounting surfaces but otherwise nothing to write home about. I do like that the head tube sports a very nice looking metal badge. The badge is not only vintage looking, which I guess you know not surprising it's a vintage bike, but it is in nearly perfect condition. And speaking of the fork, the bearings do feel a little bit rough and grindy. So I'll be taking the headset apart later and repacking the bearings or replacing them if needed. And using a spare non-drive side crank, I tested the cup and comb bottom bracket. It spins as smooth as silk. So I'm going to leave that alone for now. You know, if it works, don't fix it, right? I do have on hand a set of vintage 700C Mavic MA40 wheels and some Continental tires that I'm going to install on the bike. A 1980 Campagnolo crank set is on its way. And I have an Italian-made Veta saddle that I can reupholster. Now, I still need to get front and rear derailers, and I'm hoping that I can get Colnagos, but if I have to go with alternate age-appropriate ones, 
it won't break my heart. I also need brakes, a six speed freewheel, a stem and a handlebar. And of course, all the little bits and bobs that go along with any build. My plan is to try to stay age appropriate with the components when possible. For example, I may get a vintage Suntour freewheel because frankly, I'm not spending several hundred dollars for a vintage campy freewheel, nice as it would be to have one. I'm also considering paint options and I admit I am leaning strongly towards Bianchi Celeste Blue. Now I'm looking forward to this build. If you liked this video, there is a link below left to the Colnago I mentioned earlier. There is a link below right to another video that I think you will enjoy. And as always, seriously, thanks for watching. I do appreciate that. Goodbye and have a great day.